You yeah. better keep your hand on the knees and live with Firstly, I think the issue with the absence of New York rappers is the absence of true New York listeners. Ebro at Hot 97 is not responsible for the so-called ruins of New York rap. He does not, a.k.a. hold that torch, torch anyway. But he, I'm not saying he's helping by playing a bunch of corny club bullshit. He is the number one leader in you know, a radio station in New York, and he's doing better than power, power is for content, but he's not the only man to blame. And then he gets 50 in the studio. They had an interview yesterday, and he wants to say 50's miscellaneous beefs destroyed the real New York artists and left us with a decade-free New York hip-hop. Firstly, the people's careers that 50 ruined, truly did ruin, are people that I have no fucking interest in listening to. I could have gone, still can go my whole life without listening to a single Ja Rule or Fat Joe song. Maybe aside from the obviously titled track, New York, but that's self-explanatory and that's a complete needle in a haystack. If people truly asked for and requested to hear the real cats, like the locks, they would get them as a group. They would get them individually. They're out there. They just put an EP out. Trinity. I mean, they do interviews. They put out tapes. They're, they work on solo projects. It's, it's up to you listeners. If you, you, The music that's played is the music requested. I don't see how Troy Ave, not that he's a bad rapper or nothing, but how he's the first person to come to mind with, with a, when he's got a couple of tapes or, or whatnot for New York rap. But it should be blatant truth that people like Smoke Dizza is a better rapper, businessman, and definitely a better personality. And most definitely, Action Bronson fucking Lino. He's hilarious. He's got that absolute hardcore queen sound. Strictly for my Jeeps, Sob Stories, all the Blue Chips mixtapes, his full-length albums. They're crazy. And it's all queen sound. Speaking of queens, you got Mob Deep's recent release. It's the infamous, the old school. They got 13 old tracks, 13 new tracks. The 13 new tracks are as good as the old joints. It's a classic. 50 Cent has been releasing. He's got five tracks now, I think, off of it. Off of Animal Ambition that drops in June. These are real type New York songs. This is the clear voice in New York. The track Hold On by 50 Cent is the realest New York track by him I've heard since Get Rich or Die Trying. People ain't considering top artists like French Montana saving New York hip-hop because the joints he be making don't resemble New York art at all. We as a culture, the most important hip-hop city in the world, we want that boom bap, true lifestyle, head nodding, real stories type shit. And if you left radio program up to a cat like Peter Rosenberg, a man I respect with utmost, Maybe money will be affected and listeners' responses will be affected, but there would be no more discussion of if New York would be as hard as 1997 because it would be straight up. Just do me a favor and don't act like cats like Sean Price is not making music because he is. He pulled out a full-length album. He put out an EP. So don't be asleep like that. The music is there. More is needed most definitely. But a lot is just slept on. you got to consider that. If the South has beaten us with radio tracks, we got to come back with that boom bop that's able to be played in the clubs. And if it ain't able to be played in the clubs, do it like it was old school. Hour of club music and then an hour ahead, not in real New York shit.